Welcome to the vibrant city by the bay. Today, we're diving into the top 10 things to do in the iconic San Francisco. Whether you're a seasoned traveler or a first-time explorer, get ready for a thrilling journey through the heart of this captivating city. Number 10. Enjoy a day at the Presidio of San Francisco. The Presidio of San Francisco is a former military base that is now a park. The park is situated on the northern tip of the San Francisco Peninsula and falls under the Golden Gate Recreation Area. The ownership of the area initially was held by the Spanish, it then moved to the Mexicans before the United States took ownership in 1948. There are many places in the park where you can stand and overlook the Golden Gate Bridge as well as the Pacific Ocean. The site is also a recognized California historical landmark. Number 9. Explore the world around you. Step into Exploratorium and discover life in a different way. See what things would be like if we lived in a colorless world or take part in a video game that has social consequences. Exploratorium is one of the most interactive places to take your children, the setup is so fun that you do not even realize you are learning whilst you are there. There are six galleries, each one focuses on a different area and rewards you depending on your concentration. Number 8. Watch the San Francisco Giants. AT&T Park is home to the San Francisco Giants. One of the most famous teams in the league and a genuine household name. The stadium is on the San Francisco Bay and every time the Giants step into the park the stadium and city unites. The current stadium was completed in April 2000 at a cost of $357 million. The San Francisco Giants were originally the New York Gothams before moving to San Francisco in 1958. They have won the World Series eight times, the most recent being in 2014. Number 7. Ride the San Francisco Cable Car System. San Francisco is very proud of their cable car system. It is the last manually operated system in the world today. At its peak you would find 23 cable car lines in the city, but today we have just three left. Nearly all of the people that ride the cars today are tourists looking to try that something different when in town. The first of the cable cars was opened in, in 1873 and due to their popularity and the money that the owners were making more lines were added. In 1892 the first electric streetcars were made and so the decline of the manual car began. Number 6. Embrace the Chinese culture in Chinatown. Most major cities have a Chinatown, but San Francisco has four and the one on Grand Avenue is the biggest Chinatown outside of Asia as well as being the oldest in North America. The town is so big that it encompasses two hospitals, various parks and draws more visitors each year than the Golden Gate Bridge. If you are looking for authentic Chinese cuisine in San Francisco there is no point looking anywhere outside of the four Chinatowns to find real traditional Chinese food. If you are in the city during the Autumn Moon Festival you can visit this Chinese festival for free. Number 5. Spend time at Union Square. Union Square is the most visited neighborhood in San Francisco. Here you will find a large collection of high-end retail outlets, fancy hotels, cafes, art galleries and a very active nightlife. The area has many live events to attend and there is always something happening to keep you entertained. To really get an experience of partying with the locals this is a must-stop on any tour of the city. Number 4. Could you escape from Alcatraz Island? 1.5 miles off the shore of San Francisco is Alcatraz Island, this tiny island was developed as a military fortification, a military prison as well as a federal prison. The most famous being the federal prison. This was between 1933 and 1963. The thinking behind the federal prison was that the prisoners who caused continual trouble at other prisons would be locked up here. Many infamous prisoners have stayed here including Al Capone and Robert Franklin Stroud. The island now is a tourist attraction and many people flock here each year to explore the depths of the prison. Number 3. Relax at Golden Gate Park. Each year 13 million visitors visit Golden Gate Park and explore one of San Francisco's most amazing places. This picturesque space spans 1,017 acres and has many places to explore and relax. You can discover the lakes, picnic areas, monuments, playgrounds and gardens. Throughout the calendar there are a plethora of events and activities that take place in the park. You can even hold your own wedding or special event in the beautiful gardens and take photographs with the stunning scenery as a backdrop. Number 2. Head down to the waterfront at Fisherman's Wharf. San Francisco's most famous waterfront community is at Fisherman's Wharf. 
Here you can experience some fantastic food and enjoy some of the best dining the world has to offer. There are outdoor stands selling fresh Dungeness crab or various gourmet restaurants selling the freshest of fish from the day's catch. From here you can also arrange to go on many different tours of the area including Segway, walking, boat and many more. Number 1. Go across the Golden Gate Bridge. Between San Francisco Bay and Marin County is the world-famous Golden Gate Bridge. The bridge has been declared one of the modern wonders of the world. It was opened in 1937 and at that time it was the longest suspension bridge ever created. Made from steel and with a total length of 1.7 miles it is the most photographed bridge anywhere as the world. There are six lanes of traffic on the bridge carrying millions of passengers every year. Before the bridge was built people used to have to get a ferry between the two places, the ferry company was called Golden State Ferry Company and at one point it was the largest ferry company on the planet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting travel content. Until next time, happy exploring!